Hi, today I want to share with you the benchmark results for NestJS Express and Fastify engines comparison. I performed this test because I wanted to see how big of a difference it makes to just switch the Nest engine to a more performant one. For this test, I deployed both applications using the latest LTS version of Node.js, 22nd. I performed two separate tests to compare these technologies across different scenarios aiming to understand how each performs in varied use cases. The first scenario is a basic test, an API road that returns a hard-coded response. The second scenario is closer to a real-world application, where an API road retrieves a random selection of 30 elements from a PostgreSQL database. The source code is the same for both options, except adding different engine in the main file. Here is the first case code, and here is the second one. This is the main file for Express option, and this one is for Fastify. Now let's take a look into the database structure. I created pretty standard user table with fields like ID, name, email, password, some additional info and timestamps for records. Table has two indexes, ID as a primary key and unique index for email field. To test both applications simultaneously, I deployed them on the cloud using DigitalOcean, which offers a reasonable pricing model and all the necessary features for this setup. Each application server runs on the smallest available instance with one CPU and 512 megabytes of RAM allowing us to see how much performance we can achieve with minimal resources. For the database server, I used a larger instance to ensure that its performance wouldn't become a bottleneck during testing. I used Prometheus and Grafana on my local machine to monitor and visualize the performance metrics. Let's finally begin with our first test. Right from the start, we can see that CPU load and memory usage are higher for Express option. And now we can see that most of the metrics are starting to be a little bit better for Fastify option. And now we can see that Fastify is slowly but surely starting to pull ahead from Express. Let's now wait and see how much load these technologies can handle. And as we can see, the difference in all metrics starting to be very significant in favor of Fastify. At this point, Express starts to fail some small amount of requests, and Express CPU usage is moving close to its limits, while the average latency metric is twice better for Fastify option. I think Express is very close to its limits and will not grow its request per second metric significantly. Let's wait until both applications will reach their limits. Now Fastify starts to fail some of the requests too. And finally both applications are failing. Let's review the results. As we can see in the charts, all the metrics are significantly better for Fastify. Let's check out our aggregated metrics. As we can see the requests per second, Average latency, average P99 latency are almost two times better for Fastify option. Let's move on to our second case. Right from the start, all the metrics are a little bit better for Fastify. After some time, Express starts to fail some requests. And now both applications start to degrade in terms of performance. Let's wait for their breaking point. Express.js failed, so I disabled it. Let's wait for Fastify to fail as well. Test is finished, let's review the results. As we can see in this test, the difference is not so significant, but Fastify is still performing a little bit better. In the end, the results show a clear winner across all the test scenarios. It's Fastify. It performed in this test more than two times better than Express. In the second test case, which closely resembles a real-world application workload, Fastify still comes out on top, but the performance margin is noticeably smaller this time. Thanks for watching.
If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video with others. Let me know in the comments which framework do you prefer and if there are other benchmarks you would like to see. Also feel free to check out my Patreon and other resources linked below to support the channel. Stay tuned for more insights on development and architecture.